and I'm back. Uh, this would be, uh, let's see, introduction, knife, then sword, then Tommy gun. So this would be the fourth video. Uh, in the previous video, uh, we talked about the Tommy gun and the gun, which was the gun I first made. Now we're going to be talking about the next two guns that I've collected over my one year experience of props. Alright, let me just reach behind. Alright, the first one of the two is this uh, self-defense self self -defense weapon. Right? It kind of looks like a, a scar, a miniature scar, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's got pretty cool details and the Picatinny rails. You know. And then, oh, yeah, moving parts. Oh, I love moving parts. Alright, it's this. And this wheel here, which does nothing anyway. Oh, wait, it does, it does. You can slide this forward. And this one too. Right? So, next thing that moves is this. It's not supposed to. Yeah, it's a bad thing. It broke. Then I stuck it back in. Alright. So this gun uh, came from uh, my first uh, shoot with uh, friends from my school. Uh, they were doing an action shoot. It was called Callisto. Uh, you won't get to see it because it's a school thing. And yeah, so uh, this gun broke it in production and they gave it to me because <coughs> uh, it was kind of cheap. I don't know. thought it was really expensive. Anyway, another moving part. Trigger! And so, yeah, this one was commercially weighted and modded for the guy who bought it. Uh, his name is Kashmir. Uh, I'll link his profile somewhere. You can find him. Yeah, he does modeling and... I don't know, gun stuff. <laughs> modeling in Singapore, right. And the last thing that moves about this gun... I know it's not... Oh, sorry. I know it's not accurate, but hey, pretty cool, right? Alright, now, second gun is uh, another SMG. It's the MP5. Ish. Yeah, so, moving parts. Uh, this part moves because it's a toy gun. It's actually a toy gun, right? Don't be surprised. Everything here is a toy. Alright, uh, sadly, the magazine does not come out. Trigger moves, and if you put in batteries, it will actually vibrate. Hmm. Nothing doing there. Ah, and the last part is the stock. Yeah. Yeah, it comes out. It comes out! So if you want, you could actually use this. Stick a piece of acrylic onto whatever gun you have, and then attach. So you see, reusing gun pieces is really, 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 really good. Especially if the gun breaks. Then you can use the parts for other things. And this part, right, is missing because it's been put into another gun. Which you will see in the next video. So, uh, these two guns that I've just shown you are bought from... A store in town. It's not, not. We just we just call it town because it's busy there. Uh, yeah, and this one was bought in a street market in the east of the country, which isn't very far. But yeah, enough. 